little bit different pregame warm up today, huh? Yeah, you know, we, we thought we'd have a little fun. Uh, you know, it's a long season. We've, we've been struggling a little bit, and it's nice to come out here, have some fun with these guys. Um, you know, we, we love what they do. Obviously, we watch all their movies all the time. So for them to get out here, get a chance to, to do with us, uh, you know, play, throw the ball around, do some stuff, uh, you know, it was a good time. Break down the hot corner for them. It looked like Riggle had the arm, but he didn't have the glove. But Rudd yeah. had the, the glove, but no arm. Yeah. Um, Paul's arm Paul's Paul's arm needs a lot of work, you know. He threw a change up, I think. Paul, Paul's arm was a little was a little rough, regular, you know. He he had to, he had a better to, arm. I was trying to perfect the Dan Quisenberry from third base. I think if we combine their skills over there, his glove <laughs> and, and his arm, arm I think we got a real good third baseman. The problem yeah. is is in a game you can't do that. See, the problem I was born without a rotator cuff. Yeah. It's a weird, oh, a a weird a and that's why he does what he does. Otherwise, you'd, you'd probably you'd probably just retired from a 20-year career. I thought about going baseball. They told me without a rotator cuff, your chances are slim. And here's the thing: my rotator rotator cuff is actually stronger than most, but I'm blind. So, so there you go. go. But like I said, but the together big, the big thing was he stayed with it, and and Billy was running, so he's able to throw him out <laughs> yeah. by a, by a footstep at <laughs> first base. I mean, he got him. You know, I'm going to use it, right? I love it for sure. Okay. Keep now. His acting skills. He was cracking some jokes over there. Any good? Does he have a career? Yeah. Oh, he, he's got timing. He's got uh, and he's he's got what I think is the the potent combination of comedic timing and a power swing. Yeah. And and I you know I t I took it even Paul Ray I, I thunderstick I let it I let it eat to third base over there and he couldn't make the play. We had him dead in the water and for for me that that's an error on me messes up my fielding percentage taking money out of my pocket so he's cut. And we're not going to talk about Horatio because that's just atrocious behind yeah, the plate. Yeah, you know what, dude? We have that behind the plate. We're done. You know as long what? as the cage is there, we're fine. There's a cage is there, but the cage isn't there during the game. And, and Matt Trainer's not there to back him up. I think they're bringing, they're talking about if Horatio does play uh, tonight, they're going to let the cage, gonna let the cage in. Well, they're going to bring the cage we'll in, at least, good. I think, just maybe for the first few innings. Then we'll be good to go. Good, good. Get out there. Hey, right. Tell me about being back in Kansas City and being out here and having just being able to have, kind of have your run of the K today. This is this is unbelievable. This is one of those things where I think if I could have had a crystal ball when I, growing up here, wanted to even believe that I was actually able to get on the field and then meet some of the players, but to actually go out and, and like play baseball with them, which is a sad, sorry sight, but incredibly thrilling for me. Absolutely. You're in town uh, to, to help raise money for um, Children's Hospital. That's Tell me right. About that. Well, uh, this is the second year that uh, Rob Riggle, Jason Sudeikis, and I are hosting this uh, big event. It takes place all weekend for Children's Mercy Hospital called Big Slick. And uh, uh, some of the most of the guys, uh, some a couple are kind of just started showing up, but a few more are going to be. That's a pretty good chunk of people are coming in a, 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 in about an hour or so. Second, second year, but it's gotten bigger. It's gotten than bigger. Last first year it's, it's it's bigger. It's it's bigger as far as the things that we're doing. Uh, it's bigger in the number of celebrities that are coming in, and we're really hoping that uh, it becomes a, a you know an annual thing and 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 grows each year. Last year it had exceeded our uh, expectations. And uh, and so hopefully we can build on that. Sounds good. And you're wearing splits jersey. Why today? That's well, cool. you know that was cool. we got part of the deal was uh, you know we came in we got this last year. They said, you know what, pick a number and a name, and I'm like, well, I'm I already know mine. I'm gonna go with Split Orf. Cool. All right. Have a great time. Good luck at the wiffle ball game. It's, Thanks. Yeah, we're gonna be out there for that too. So. Joker and the punter. <laughs> you gonna give him? You gonna you gonna flash the Joker smile when you get up to bat? I already got it on me. It stays with me. Stays with me. What do you think about this uh, this game today? I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I don't know. The wiffle ball could be interesting. A lot, a lot of interesting pieces out there. You taking any swings lately? I have not. I've thrown a lot of wiffle balls to my kids getting ready for baseball games, but I haven't hit them, so I could pull a hammy. You never know. Okay. What about you? Usually it's the leg. My, my little son just started coach pitch, so I've been out there trying to help him out. and It's the first swings I've taken since Little League. It should be interesting. Um, I'm looking at the talent level, and I think we definitely have the edge in that department. Um, but I we'll just so. have to see. We, they have George Brett, so. Yeah, but I've seen George play in fantasy <laughs> camp, and George is, he just, he's way past his time. I, I think he's going to be fine. Let's talk about your manager, if you will, Paul Rudd. Oh, it's just, it's a joy to watch him on the tube, I tell you that. It's, it, it'll be a lot of fun. He's a, he's a character, and. A Kansas City, and you know, so it'd be pretty cool. He makes make sure all of his players take care of their bodies throughout the season. You know, obviously, this is our first big. It's like the Daytona 500 of race car driving. This is our biggest 
biggest game all year and we're ready to play. He said he's seen you play baseball yeah. at fantasy camp. He yeah, you guys well, he's never seen me. Today. He's never seen me play like in Roy in the Royal Stadium. Uh, he, Just in he, fantasy camp. That's the only time he's ever seen he me play. Said fantasy camp based on the fantasy camp yeah. performance. He's he's not worried about today. I I you know what? When I retired from baseball in 1993, I kind of lost my competitive edge. Believe me, I'm not out here to win. I'm out here to have fun. And help raise some money, too. And help raise money for a great cause. And I know Children's Mercy like the back of my hand because i got three boys. All three of my boys have been patients at Children's Mercy. So if I can come here and help raise money for them, I'm, I'll be the happiest guy, win or lose. Your manager's Rob Riggle. Has he given you guys any pregame speeches or anything yet? Uh, he said, have a beer and have fun. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm Eric Burke with the hey, Fox Philly. How you doing? Uh, tell me about the game today. You have strategy. You're kind of hiding out here in right field. Yeah, well, that's the strategy. So you've just blown it straight away. Hide. Hide and try not to wait yourself when people start shouting, catch it, Britt, catch it. How the hell did you get roped into this, or did you uh, jump at the chance? Um, you know what? It was a little bit of both. You know, once I'd been roped in, I thought, well, I'll be positive and I'll jump at this. But I don't know. I mean, how hard can it be? It's America's pastime. How hard can it be to dominate your sport without ever having done it before? Your manager is Rob Riggle. Yeah. Has he given you guys any pregame speeches or prep talks? What has he told you to do? Uh, How important is this game to win? It was more well, it was more to do with what he would do if we screwed up. So it's focusing on that really, rather than I don't remember anything positive. It was just more it was threats, physical and emotional threats. Are you? Uh, Given any of your teammates advice on how to deal with Riggle since you guys have spent some time on the Daily Show together? Yeah, yeah you just tell him to shut the fuck up. <laughs> it's, it's, you can overcomplicate, you can overthink it with Riggle. Just when, when he's talking, nod, nod, pause, collect your thoughts because you can't talk too quickly for him to understand. Then just say, Riggle, shut the fuck up. Are you doing anything for uh, the Daily Show while you're out here? No. Would you no. like to? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I've been doing plenty. I was on the Sarah Palin bus tour, so. Yeah, I need I need an emotional need break. break. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just give me just give me a weekend, please. <laughs> give me a weekend of not dying yeah. inside. Was over Ronald That's right, yeah. Okay. And then you got hurt, so don't do anything for like the next I got 24 hurt? hours. What did I do? Oh, appendix? Yeah, that that's was, right. It was that night. That's right. I think it was something you gave me. A little it food might or have been. <laughs> did I leave this on? Okay, um, this is a little bit different game for you. What are you, what are you doing going into it? You know what? Um, my focus is there. Now, I don't know if the performance will be there, but um, I've been visualizing for the last few days, and I, and I think that I'm, I'm on track for a good day. Are you a go for the fences or uh, just try and get on base kind of guy? Absolutely drop bombs as much as possible. I'm going to try to hit a home run every time. Now, the, there's a chance that I might completely miss the, the baseball altogether or the softball or wiffle ball, whatever we're playing out here. But at the same time, you know, um, I'm going to give it my all and we'll see what happens. Now, you're ready. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking you got to pull it because if you try and go opposite field, you're going to have too much wind in your face. Yeah, you know, that, that might be a good strategy, though, to try to go opposite field, wait on it a little bit, and then get behind the ball because I kind of get out in front and do these rollover ground outs a lot of times. And they hide the weak players in right field anyway. Exactly. You know, infield homers, I'll take it. A home run's a home run. That's what I say. Absolutely. Yeah. Nice, buddy. Good luck. What is it? Pre-game strategy, get in their heads. Get in their heads and do a tap dance, and it's going to be easy because these guys are idiots. Let's talk about the guys you have on your team. George Brett. George Obviously Brett, Hall of Famer. Yep. Hall of Famer. Matt Hall of Famer, Castle. George Brett. Future Hall of Famer, Matt Castle. Uh, uh, of course, uh, Kevin Pollock. Dude, the dude from The Daily Show? John Oliver. John okay. Oliver, good friend of mine. Cockney. Uh, yes, you got Johnny Dare. You got, uh, you got uh, Nia Vardalis from my uh, Big Fat Greek Wedding. Uh, I mean, it's, I don't even know why the other team's coming out, I'll be honest. Who's your ringer? Uh, Besides yourself. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Working for you. Yes. The ringer, okay, we're telling everybody the ringer's me, because it is, but the super secret ringer, mm -hmm. Joe Latruglio. Really? Yes. What's, what's the secret power? Uh, his, his jersey, 76, Buttermaker on the back. Does they have a chance? It's a lock. Smart money. Bet now. Get the bets in now. Bet the mortgage? That's right. Okay. It's a lot. Yeah. But they're gonna win. Let me go this side. Well, here's the thing. I don't I don't buy that. I honestly, I just looked over a Riggle squad. I don't recognize a single person. Who, who's the ringer on your team? I don't think he has any uh, I don't I don't think he has any I don't even think he has any professional athletes over there. Uh, who's the ringer on my team? Mm -hmm. This doesn't air till after nine, so you're fine. 
Um, I think that it's probably going to be... Uh, Besides yourself, of course. Well, it's definitely... In spite of me, it'll probably be. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm, you know what? I'm gonna go with. Uh, I, I played with John Ham a few times. Ham. Ham's no slouch. And he's got the beard going, so people almost don't recognize. He's trying him. to be like Brian Wilson, the Giants. Nice. He's got it. He dyed it black before he hopped on the plane to come here. What about uh, you? Got the Joker, Joe Randa, former Royal. Mm -hmm. You got Dustin Colquitt, punter for the Chiefs. Yeah, yeah. Dustin's gonna kick the ball over the fence, and, which is good. And. Uh, and Randa, one minute, one minute for media. Randa one minute. Hit it, he'll, he'll hit it. He'll hit it. Into Back in, arrowhead. Into the big K. Yeah. Okay. The big K. Good, good. And I'm just going to be taking big Ks all night long. Fantastic. Yeah.